good wishes to all of you social science social and political life one textbook for class 6 unit 3 chapter 5 panchayati raj audiobook what happens after people elect their representatives how are decisions made let's look at how this takes place in rural areas here we look at the gram sabha which is a meeting where people directly participate and say counters from their elected representatives it's a special day today everyone's rushing to get to the gram sabha do you know why because the gram sabha is holding its first meeting after the election of the new gram panchayat take a look at this on image the gram sabha is a meeting of all adults who live in the area covered by a panchayat this could be only one village or a few villages in some states as in the example above a village meeting is held for each village anyone who is 18 years old or more and who has the right to vote is a member of the gram sabha the people of hardas village are keen to find out what their new panchayat leaders have planned for the village gram sabha the gram sabha meeting begins with the panchayat president who is also called the sarpanch and the members of the panchayat the panch presenting a plan on repairing the road that connects the village to the main highway after this the discussion moves to the subject of water and water shortages every village panchayat is divided into wards that is smaller areas each ward elects a representative who is known as the ward member panch all the members of the gram sabha also elect a sarpanch who is the panchayat president the ward panch the ward panch and the sarpanch form the gram panchayat the gram panchayat is elected for 5 years the gram panchayat has a security who is also the security of the gram sabha this person is not an elected person but is appointed by the government the secretary is responsible for calling the meeting of the gram sabha and gram panchayat and keeping a record of the proceedings a village called tizia begins the meeting by saying the water problem in hardas has become very acute the hand pump water has gone well below the point up to which the ground has been drilled we hardly get any water in the taps women have to go to the suro river which is 3 kilometers away to get water one of the members suggests piping water from the suro and making an overhead tank in the village to increase the supply but the others think that this will be expensive it's better the feel to deepen the hand pumps and cleans the wells for this season tizia says this is not enough we need to do something more permanent as ground water level seem to be going down every year we are using more water than is seeping into the ground another member anwar then tells everyone that he has seen ways of conserving water and recharging refilling it in a village in maharashtra where he had once gone to visit his brother it was called watershed development and he had heard that the government gave money for this work in his brother's village people had planted trees constructed check dams and tanks everyone thought this was an interesting idea and the gram panchayat was asked to find out about it in detail what is a gram sabha in the meeting of the gram sabha so far what are the problems that are being discussed what sort of solutions are being suggested the next item on the agenda for the gram sabha is the finalizing of the list of people below the poverty line bpl which had to be approved by the gram sabha as soon as the list is read out people begin to whisper natwar has just bought a color tv and his son has sent him a new motorcycle how can he be below the poverty poverty line surajmal mutters to the person sitting next to him saroj says to sukhi bhai how did birju's name get on to the list he has so much land this list should have only poor people 
and Om Prakash is a landless laborer who can barely make ends meet yet his name is not on the list you know that both Natwar and Birju are friends of Amit Chan who can counter Amit Chan's power Suki bhai says Amit Chan was the earlier zamindar landowner of the village and still has control over a lot of land but we should get Om Prakash name put in the sarpanch panchayat president notices people whispering and asks if anyone has anything to say Saroj tries to provoke Surajmal to ask about Natwar and Birju but he keeps quiet Amirchan is sitting in the gram sabha keeping an eye on everyone then Saroj gets up and says that Om Prakash name should be in the BPL list others agree that he ha- he and his family are very poor the sarpanj asks how his name had been missed out the teacher who did the survey of BPL family says om prakash house was locked when i went there he may have gone somewhere to look for work the sarpanj gives instructions that om prakash family income will look at at n if it is less than what has been decided by the government his name should be included in the list the gram sabha is a key factor in making the gram panchayat play its role and be responsible it is a place where all plans for the work of the gram panchayat are placed before the people the gram sabha prevents the panchayat from doing wrong things like misusing money or favoring certain people it plays an important role in keeping an eye on the elected representatives and in making them responsible to the persons who elected them was there a problem with the bpl list that the gram sabha was finalizing what was this problem why do you think surajmal kept quiet even though saroj asked him to speak have you seen have you seen any similar incidents when people are unable to speak for themselves why do you think that happened and what prevented the person from speaking how can the gram sabha prevent the panchayat from doing what it likes take a look at this image two village pans from maharashtra who were awarded the nirmal gram puraskar in 2005 for the in 2005 for the excellent work done by them in the panchayat the gram panchayat the gram panchayat meets regularly and one of its main tasks is to implement development programs for all villages that come under it as you have seen the work of the gram panchayat has to be approved by the gram sabha in some states gram sabhas form committees like construction and development committees these committees include some members of the gram sabha and some from the gram panchayat who work together to carry out specific tasks the work of a gram panchayat includes the construction and maintenance of water sources roads drainage school building and other common property resources levying and collecting local taxes executing government schemes related to generating employment in the village sources of funds for the panchayat collection of taxes on houses marketplaces etc government scheme funds received through various departments of the government through the janpad and jilla panchayats donations for community works etc let's see what the hardas gram panchayat was able to do do you remember the options that were suggested to solve the water problem in the gram sabha of hardas village when the hardas gram panchayat held a meeting this point was brought up again by some of the members pants this meeting was attended by the sarpanch ward members pants and the secretary gram panchayat members first discussed the suggestion to deep in two hand pumps and clean one well so that the village would not go without water not go without water the sarpanch panchayat president suggested that since the panchayat had received some money for maintenance of hand pumps this could be used for completing this work the members agreed and the secretary recorded their decision the members then went on to discuss the options for a long term solution 
They were sure that the Gram Sabha members would ask questions at the next meeting. Sampan asked whether he, whether the watershed program would make a sustainable difference to the water level. A lot of discussion followed. In the end, it was decided that the Gram Panchayat would approach the block development officer and get more information on the scheme. What decisions were taken by the Gram Panchayat? Do you think it was necessary for them to take these decisions? Why? From the above description, write down one question that people could ask of the Panchayat in the next Gram Sabha meeting. Take a look at these images. Watershed management has transformed this barren slope to a green meadow in just two years. Three levels of Panchayats After reading about what happened in the Gram Sabha and the Gram Panchayat in Hardas village, you can understand that the Panchayati Raj system is a process through which people participate in their own government. In rural areas, the Gram Panchayat is the first tier or level of democratic government. The Pans and the Gram Panchayat are answerable to the Gram Sabha because it is the members of the Gram Sabha who elected them. This idea of people's participation in the Panchayati Raj system extends to two other levels. One is the block level, which is called the Janpad Panchayat or the Panchayat Samiti. The Panchayat Samiti has many Gram Panchayats under it. Above the Panchayat Samiti is the District Panchayat or the Jilla Parishad. The Jilla Parishad actually makes development, developmental plans at the district level with the help of Panchayat Samitis. It also regulates the money distribution among all the Gram Panchayats. Within the guidelines given in the constitution, each state in the country has its own laws with regard to panchayats. The idea is to provide more and more space for people to participate and raise their voices. Ask your teacher to invite any of the elected persons such as the Panch, Sarpanch, Panchayati President or member of the Janpad or Jilla Panchayat and interview them on their work and the projects undertaken by them. Questions. What problem did the villagers in Hardas village face? What did they do to solve this problem? What, in your opinion, is the importance of the Gram Sabha? Do you think all members should attend Gram Sabha meetings? Why? What is the link between a Gram Sabha and a Gram Panchayat? Take an example of any one task done by Panchayat in your area, nearby rural area and find out the following. Why it was taken up? Where the money came from? Whether or not the work has been completed? What is the difference between a Gram Sabha and a Gram Panchayat? Read the following news item. Nimur is a village on the Chalpula Serur Road. Like many others, this village has also been facing a severe water shortage for the last few months and villagers depend on tankers for all their needs. Bhagwan Mahadeo, Mahadeo Lord 35 of his village was beaten with sticks iron rods and access by a group of seven men. The incident came to light when some villagers brought a badly injured lad to hospital for treatment. In the FIR recorded by the police lord said that he was attacked when he insisted that the water in the tanker must be emptied in, into the storage tanks constructed as part of the water supply scheme by Nimon Gram Panchayat. So, that there would be equal distribution of water. However, he alleged that the upper caste men were equal men were against this and told him that the tanker water was not made for the lower caste. Adapted from Indian Express May 1, 2004. Why was Bhagwan beaten? Do you think that the above is a case of discrimination? Why? Find out more about watershed developments and how it benefits an area. Thank you.